Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing a non-tutorial. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that I'm going to do an attempt at modeling a character. Now, if you know my channel, you know I never do characters and I don't do them for a reason. I completely suck at it, okay? But this is going to be basically a first attempt for the simple reason that I get this question all the time. People ask me, please, please, please do a character. Um, maybe this will be helpful for those of you who are completely new to this as well. So uh, when you see me struggle at this, maybe you know, you'll know you have a, a good laugh and uh, you know come up with some ideas for yourself. So this guy right here is going to be the basis for the video. And um, yeah, it's, it's basically a bunch of basic shapes, right? So uh, let's jump in and see how this turns out. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, well, welcome to my um, somewhat of a tutorial. Uh, what we're gonna do today is model a character, or at least something that could resemble a character. Now, uh, if you know my channel, you know I never do characters ever, ever, because I completely suck at it. Uh, but that said, I get the question all the time. Now, if you're new to modeling characters like I am, um, uh, I suggest you start with something like this because it's mainly a bunch of basic shapes. And from there, you can get your first model started and kind of go from there, okay? So let's get started on this guy. Um, why not start with his head, okay? So uh, you can see that the top there is kind of a sphere. And then as you go down, it starts to look a little bit like a cube. So what we'll do is we'll take a, a sphere here. Let's hit W, push that up and move that in. It doesn't need to be that high poly. So we're going to hit control A, we're going to go in, let's set that to 12, that should be enough. I think that looks fine. And then we're going to go into this view right here. And it doesn't have to be completely spot on as long as you have something that will work for you. Okay, so we got that, we're going to hit R, we're going to scale it in a little bit like this and hit W and move it up like so. And then we're going to right click at a face, we're going to drag select to about there, delete that, right click edge, double click on it, we're going to control E to extrude, W to pull down, and R to scale in, G to repeat, W to pull down, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to pull down, let's go to And R to scale in, and a G to repeat, and W to pull down, and R to scale in. Now, our model is far from symmetrical level and so forth, so don't worry about that. Now, in our example here, it's a really hard cutoff. What we're going to do instead is uh, take, the, uh, take it in object mode, and I'm basically going to squish it a little bit. But the way we'll do that is we'll go in, we'll right click, take that edge at the bottom there, hit B for soft select, hold down B and left click and drag to increase that affected area. And then we're gonna um, push it in like this. Okay. And then we're gonna flip it. So we're gonna hit B again. We're gonna right click to object mode. E to rotate, hold down J, snap twice yeah it's better yep not quite want to make sure it's looking in the right direction here so let's uh, hit B to turn that off hold down J That's better. Okay. So we got that. Now let's look at the upper body. So for the upper body, we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to hit W. Let's move that up and move that in. Let's have a look. Push that up. I'm going to go to vertex, drag select, move that out, drag select, move that out. Take these, move that down. Hit R, bring that in. So that's our basic shape right there. And then we're gonna go into Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, set it to Single. And let's put one in somewhere around there, okay? 
All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna hit Q on our keyboard. We're gonna right click and go to edge. Take these two edges, hit R, kind of push them forward. Take this edge and this edge and kind of pull them out like so just to get a little bit of that torso shape and then let's see what we're going to do is we're going to add some shoulder action here so for that we'll go into insert edge loop option box set that to multiple we'll do two on that and we'll go in and we'll hit R and we'll kind of push them out like so okay hit Q on your keyboard, we're going to take this edge and that edge hit W and just slightly push that down okay now if you like looking at the back here what you can do is from the back um, bring that back line back a little bit okay so that would be this edge or these vertices we'll drag select them and kind of bring that back I think that looks better. Let's do a preview smooth here. Let's see what we got. That's a bit too flat, so we're gonna hit one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to insert edge loop again, which is still set to two. There you go. Hit R, kind of scale that out a little bit. We're gonna hit uh, Q to get out of that. Let's go and hit three again. That's better. The only thing is that this should be at the other end. So let's flip it around. Modify and center pivot. Hold on J, flip it around. There you go. Okay. So let's look at the bottom there, or the, uh, the pelvic area, if you will. Let's actually smooth this guy. We can do that. Let's go to Mesh and Smooth, this one as well, there you go. So, uh, yeah, so we got this area down here, which kind of looks like a cutoff sphere. So uh, we'll uh, take another sphere for that. Let's uh, bring that in. And at this point, our model is way, way off because that photo is not a good representation, but that's okay. We'll go in, we'll uh, delete these top faces here. We'll go in and we'll um, cut these off. And then we're gonna go into, let's go into edge. Actually, let's go into vertex. We'll go into vertex, drag select these, and we're gonna start to flare them out a little bit. This one here, there we go. That's basically the shape we want. Okay, now uh, let's see what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click at an edge. I'm gonna double click on this one. Control E to extrude and R to scale in, like so. We'll do the same down here. G to repeat, R to scale in. So that's going to be that section and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go in we're going to go to edge and double click on this one and this one we're going to hit b for soft select and we're going to push that in kind of flatten that a little bit all right so we got that <clears throat> excuse me now let's look at that middle section there that seems to be a uh, section of a sphere right so let's take that and W, move that up. And we're gonna move that in there. Yeah, that's fine. So that's gonna be in here. It's gonna be the section. And what we're gonna do there is we're gonna right click, go to face, turn B off. 
object mode, come on, good face, yeah. Let's uh, take off this top section here and this bottom section there. Well, let's have a look. Okay. Now that needs to be flattened, of course, and I want to work a little bit on my torso. So let's see, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna kind of skill this in a bit. And then we're gonna push that in a little, like so. We're gonna take our torso, and we're gonna give that a little bit more body, like that. Move it over a little, <coughs> excuse me. And we're gonna move the head back. Okay, now this needs to be adjusted a little bit. There you go. And then we're gonna use this guy, hit Control D, hit W, move up. And we're gonna use that for our neck, okay? And we're going to do at this point, and I should have done that way, way earlier, is we're going to move our reference. For the simple reason that it makes things much, much easier. Like I said, should have done that, didn't do it, my apologies. Okay, so we'll take this guy, we'll hold down X, we'll snap it. Just make things so much easier. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Modify center pivot. Just make sure all the parts are centered. So now that we have that, let's have a look. So this is going to be our head, we're going to move that a bit forward, and we're going to close up that gap down there as well. So we're going to right click at the edge, double click on it, Control A to extrude, R to scale in, like that. We're getting there. Okay, so um, now we will be doing a lot of copying, okay, and because it's basically pretty easy. So we'll take a sphere for the shoulder. We'll go in, W to move that up. And let's uh, move that over, hit R to scale that down. Let's see how close we are. It's not too bad. So let's uh, put that in around there, okay. Now I'm going to hit uh, Control D to duplicate that. I'm going to bring one in here, and then Control D again. And we're going to bring one in here and make that one a bit smaller, like so. And then we're going to connect those. Now um, for the upper arm, we're simply going to take a polygon cylinder. We're going to hit W, move that up. R the skill down. E to rotate that a little bit. And we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it in. And I'm gonna right click at a vertex, drag like these top vertices and the bottom vertices. Like that, and then these will come in a bit, slightly tapered. And then we'll take this guy in object mode and slightly bring that in. Okay, now if you like, if you think this is a bit too straight, what you can do is select it, go into Injured Edge Loop option box, set that to uh, multiple, let's do five. You can go in, set the number, 
and then we can go in and go to edge and just kind of flare that up a little bit to make it slightly more organic again if you like you don't have to but gives it a slightly different feel all right and again you know in this case these tops are uh, closed up if you want to use this in a game or whatnot of course you need to go in clean up your mesh get rid of faces that you're not using make sure the gaps are all closed and so forth okay so we've got this guy we're gonna use it so we're gonna hit control D to duplicate W to move it down let's use that for our lower arm so let's uh, bring that in here let's uh, rotate that a little bit hit W bring that in we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale it down a little bit more and at this point we're going to be working based on our model more than the reference maybe scale it down in this direction a bit yeah not too bad it's a little bit thick so we'll go in here and we'll go into edge let's just uh, scale it in a bit Okay, so now that we have that, we need a hand. Now, the hand in this case is uh, based on a cube. So we'll do that down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch it out. Stretch it out in this direction as well. I'm gonna go to injured edge loop, which is still set to five. We're gonna go to the top, go into object mode, and W, move it over here so we can see what's going on. We're going to right click and go to vertex and we're going to start to work this towards kind of a point if you will like so like so then we're going to take these we're going to hit r we're going to kind of push that in like this and then we're going to go to injured edge loop again uh, like this We're going to Q on our keyboard, we're going to get object mode, hit R to push this down, like so. And then we're going to go in, go to vertex. Let's uh, push this in a bit. See if I can approach them from this side. Um, nope. From this side then. Yeah, that's a bit better. Actually, I think perspective view is even better than that. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go and take that top edge, W, raise it up a bit. Bring it down. Bring it down some more. That looks about right. And then we're going to take this one and this one. Hit B on a keyboard, hold down B and left click and drag. Let's kind of work that down a little bit. That's a bit too much, so hold on B again, pull it back a little. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna hit B to turn that off. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna bring that in. And we're going to hit E to rotate it. Hard to scale it down a lot. Give it some thickness. Hit W, bring it in here. And in this case, it's rotated. So let's do that. Okay, maybe a bit bigger. That's fine. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take 
all of this go to mesh and combine go to modify center pivot go to edit duplicate special option box negative one on skill x duplicate special move that over to this end like so starting to get somewhere now let's uh, deal with our legs uh, not that different so we're going to copy this at least part of it so we're going to go to mesh and separate let's uh, take this and this actually and maybe even this okay so let's go to mesh and uh, combine control d to duplicate bring that down Let's move that into position for our leg, E to rotate. And let's see how much we need to change here. I think it's not too bad actually. And then we'll take this, Control D to duplicate, and W to move down. Let's go to modify and center pivot. Bring it in. E to rotate, W to bring in, R to scale, W to move down, and let's have a look. We're going to right click at the edge, double click on it, let's hit R and kind of scale that in a bit, and we're going to go to object mode hit W and bring that in like so then we got one more joint section here let's see we'll use this modify and center pivot control D to duplicate W to push down R to scale up that would be in this ballpark right here and we need to kind of give the upper legs a bit more meat. Okay, so we're going to separate that. We're going to get an edge. Let's make the, the upper legs a bit more beefy. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. Okay, so this one needs to come in a little bit. And in our feet, as you can see, they're very flat and simple and whatnot. So for the foot, we'll take another polygon cube. We'll hit R, we'll scale it, push that out like so, push it in, push it out. Let's go to insert edge loop. And there you go. We're going to jump to our top here. We're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select. Come on, let's try that again. Drag select. Hit W, move it. They're very simple. Push it in like this. And then we're going to go in and take a couple of these edges and I only want the uh, the top ones here so let's hit W bring that up a bit skip one at each end bring it up some more that's about right now you can go in go to object mode and go to mesh and smooth let's see how that looks it's a bit too flat it controls you to go back. We'll go in and we'll insert edge loop manually. So we'll uh, put one in here, we'll put one in here, and then one there and one there. Not there, there. That should make a big difference. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Yeah, it's much better. So we're gonna go to mesh and smooth on that one. Let's hit E to rotate and let's see if we can get that into place here. 
Where's our guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, throw up that over. R to scale it down. W to move up and in. Let's give it a bit more body. After all, there's feet, right? Now keep in mind guys, this is by no means a game ready model, right? This is just to give you an idea how you can start to approach it. And once you're happy with the overall concept layout, what it looks like, what it feels like, you can decide how you want to move forward, okay? So um, yeah, that looks all right. So we're gonna drag select this and shift drag select all of this. Let's go to, um, let's see, we're going to go to mesh and combine. Let's go to modify center pivot, edit, duplicate special, which is still at minus one on X. Let's bring that in here. And there you have it. That is my uh, somewhat pathetic attempt to um, create a character. Um, you know, I don't do characters for a reason. Um, but you know, this is how you can approach it. Okay, so uh, this is of course a very easy to um, to set up in the sense of rigging. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to use joints if you don't want to. You can. Uh, use uh, parenting and rotation and whatnot. So very, very simple. I did a, um, a model of a robot a couple of years ago where I did the same principle. So uh, yeah, that's that. So uh, hopefully you had some fun. Um, and uh, please let me know in the comments if I should do stuff like this more in the future or not. Uh, if you think it completely sucks, you can let me know that as well, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.